guys, this is Remy here, and welcome back to Random Brace Hollywood. We're here with Heath, <coughs> talking to him, sorry, coughing all up in your, your ears. But, um, your secrets are less secret than mine, I guess? I hope you can't see right through my heart, but if you can, then I hope you'll share some of your own secrets, too. Uh, I don't like my secrets out to play. I don't mind sharing, but can you handle the secrets I see? Maybe I can't, but that doesn't mean I won't try, especially if it means learning more about you. Oh shit, Heath. Heath, go away real fast. Heath, go away real fast! The expression had quickly sobered. It was like his moods flicked on and off at a whim. You know, a few years ago, you would have had a group of Golgotha to welcome you into this world, but now, well... With the war going on, everyone seems more interested in protecting themselves. Okay. You're very emp empathetic for a vampire. It seems like a justified war if it means getting get in. Is there to be peace? Because I still would like to make peace. Hunters. You mean vampire hunters? Yes, there aren't many of them, but they are always lurking threat. He bit his lip, a troubled frown flitting across his face for a few moments. In the following sounds, I heard sirens echoing from somewhere far, far away. There's something different about you, something that I've never seen before. I'd really like to talk to you more if you'd let me. Um. Uh, I'd love to come by Heath. Wait, I had to say loyal. I had to say loyal to Marcus. Not Marcus, holy shit. I'm already jumping into the gun. Randall. Um, I'll, I'll say I'll still surprise him. But I won't go to him. I won't, I won't go visit him. I'll stay loyal. Um. Well, this route, I don't feel that quite lonely. I, I feel like I can handle myself. I'm deeply determined. No matter what happened from here, I refuse to let myself lose the thing. If I was trapped in this world, then I'd just have to find a way to survive. I wouldn't let this be the end. There was still too much left for me to do. Like meeting Randall. Yes, give me the deal. That's just what I love, an excited customer. <laughs> Did you know that we also offer great deals on life insurance? You never know when tragedy will strike. Oh, oh no, what if I'm already dead? Hmm, that is a problem. <laughs> it's gonna be so great playing uh, Marcus's route. Well, never fear. Well, sorry. Well, never fear. Hollywood Heights Insurance will find a way, uh, find a plan that's right for you. Accidents happen. That's our motto. I'd like to talk to another rep, please. Accidents are a tender subject for me. <laughs> I call something went silent. I heard nothing, not even elevator music until. Hello, sister. How are you feeling tonight? Oh wait, I can't even skip this, this is new. Ready for the start of your her her her, her slam trials, I hope. Aw, oh, but I wanted the car insurance. No, no, I assure you, it's much cheaper to travel than to hell in a handbasket. This little chuckle rats that me through the line. It seems like, <laughs> I seem like these choices I should be picking for Marcus as well, so I will, because it seems really cute. Down to our business for tonight, however. Um, my performance anxiety is kicking, no, yeah, continue. I'm good, I'm Gucci. Uh, let's get your gas station sushi, which I don't even try to give into the hunger. Randall doesn't even eat humans, does he? Or does it? I don't remember. We're gonna try to resist. Obviously, it's not gonna work. Um, don't worry, I'm not going to mug you. No, yes, I need you. N need me? For, for what? <laughs> and this route, I will... Uh, I guess I will make David our pet, as personally, I don't like that, but I would like to see the aspects of, like, not drinking from a blood pouch. I took a, deep, a step towards him slowly. He stayed in place, but I could see his whole body tensing up, getting ready to turn and bull. Another step and another, until he's too, only a foot or two away. Uh, you can't run away because you don't want to. Shh, come here for just... <laughs> come here for just a moment. Just pull into my arms. Chomp chomp! Sorry, David. You're dreaming, don't worry. No, I'm gonna say I'm sorry still. I'm very kind. <laughs> Alright. If you don't let me into this meeting, you're gonna be in deep shit later, dude. Yep, you are. Didn't I beat him up? I beat him up. But I'm nice, guys. <laughs> beat him up, though. Almost instantly, I left a pull towards them. In this strange dark world, the Golgotha seemed to shine brightly. They looked like a library full of answers. Answers to all the questions swirling around in my head. But I didn't have a choice. I knew I'd have to wait before finally getting my hands on those answers. Oh, right. This is so weird. Because I'm going to be, like, on Randall's side, but as a Golgotha. 
All right, let's cut the bullshit and talk conditions. All right. When I blinked, I thought I saw some sort of circ cir circlet on his head shining brightly, but it vanished the next moment, just an illusion. What? What did I see? Call out to them. Hold the fuck on. I hate to interrupt, but this is my... Uh... One of my siblings. A Golgotha? I'm a Golgotha myself, though. Whatever. That's kind of weird. A Golgotha. It's me. Let me guess Queen Vish sent you, didn't she? No. <laughs> Your mother. It's Michiko. I'll tell you. So, uh, how do you feel about working with this guy? Well, Charisse wants a truce with you eventually. Would you agree to one? No, so how do you feel about the story? <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. You're not joking, are you? No. Like, I'm not joking that you're gonna be our boyfriend, maybe. I don't know. For some god's sake and for- for, <laughs> for some god's forsaken reason, she thinks she'd be good to work with. She says you're the leader of the Mavar and wants to be allies. No, I'm gonna choose all these rebellious answers. Ha! <laughs> A choked laugh of disbelief erupted from his throat. If he reacted like that to just the mention of an alliance, it probably didn't bode well for Charisse. Um, yeah, I think Charisse might have been pals with Stalin. Stalin? Stalin? Who the hell is that? You sound like a leader earlier. Are you sure you're not just deluding yourself? You sound like a leader earlier. And you're an angry vandal, right? <laughs> uh, what do you think of us? Us. Oh, yeah, you're one of the, uh, fuck. You pinched a rich of his nose with his thumb and forefinger grimacing. Kid, I got bad news for you. Your house, you've got a lot of talents. Weird visions, prophetic dreams, seeing into people's hearts the second you meet them, stuff like that. Oh, really? But it's gonna get hard, real hard. A lot of newbie goals. They can't handle all the new gifts. Don't know how to separate reality from fantasy. Completely insane within a week. So, uh, try to keep, try and keep it together, okay? That's my secret. I never had it together in the first place. I think I'll be fine, but thanks. I will, Vandal. Why am I calling him Vandal instead of Randall? That's my secret. I never had it together in the first place. Right. Good to know. Okay. You know what? I'm going to choose a funny one. I don't know why she's constantly calling him Vandal. She's probably doing that. It's Randall. Damn it. Don't you play that game with me. Okay. Vandal. <laughs> Anyway, if you haven't met Marcus yet, I should hook you up. He's the best goal. Hell, one of the best guys, period, I know around here. Marcus is amazing. Wear glasses and all. Okay. So, uh, so Scar, you are the kiss of death. Glugoth are the sound of death. And what about the Mavar? Mavar. Kind of fancy way of putting it, but sure. Not a whole lot to say about us, really. Mavar don't complicate shit. Interesting. So being a vampire is an excuse to ignore law and order. No, I kind of still like... Thanks, Vandal. <laughs> Thanks, Vandal. Mm. You sigh playfully, rubbing at his werewolf in hand. Take care and hang on to your sanity. I'm gonna call him Vandal. That's cute. We got a little nickname for him already. And with that, we parted ways. Hey. You tricked me, you complete. <laughs> yeah, but. No, you tricked me, you complete. <clears throat> You tricked me, you bitch. Uh, this seems kind of dishonest. Oh, I'm just gonna be silent. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. What is it? <laughs> I'm so sassy. What do you want? I suggest you partner yourself with at least, or or at least try to learn from an older vampire. Okay. Thanks for that advice. I'm gonna go with Randall. Duh. Randall, let's go. Randall was the most casual, friendly vampire I'd met so far. Blunt and opinionated, maybe. But I had sense he wouldn't try to manipulate me, and like most others probably would. I didn't mind the fact that he was a Mavar. In fact, I found his hot bloodiness intriguing in its own way. With any luck, Randall wouldn't mind helping me out, despite the rocky start we got off to. What the fuck do you mean? We got him a nickname and everything. <laughs> then it was settled. Tomorrow, I'd take a break from running Sharice's errands and go find Randall instead. That thought was only a small pillar in the world when I'd been thrown into, but I clung to it as tightly as I could. Alright. This is interesting. This is really fun. 
My feet sank into the soft welcoming sand. The gentle ryth rhythm of crashing waves filled my ears, washing over the distant cries of seagulls. It felt so different from the glittering bustle of Hollywood in downtown LA. Almost like a remote, isolate, isolated bubble of paradise. This is cute. After taking a taxi from the hotel to Santa Monica, I've been wandering around for a little while, looking for Randall's place. The only directions he'd given me were at the beach, which wasn't exactly the most helpful. Alright. Oh, nope, okay, I can't skip anything. Luckily, I could smell or rather sense the presence of vampires nearby, but this time it felt like I was tracking a blob instead of individual scents, as if they'd all morphed together into one giant presence. My feet soon took me to a rickety house by the waterfront. I heard a familiar charismatic voice booming through the windows, which meant this was definitely the place. Hello? Michiko? Wow, don't be so shocked to see me. A few seconds after I knocked the door swung open. At first, Randall looked shocked to see me, but his mouth soon grew into a guarded smile. You know, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting you to show up again. Well, I just kind of keep myself away. I like bad boys, and you're a vandal. You do. <laughs> what the fuck? Most people don't. I like to catch them by surprise. Why? Because you're an enemy? No, I'm going for the, um... I like bad boys. I can't tell if you're hitting on me or just being crazy cold, so... I'm hitting on you. This is the first time where I'm gonna hit on the, the character, the love interest, instead of love interest hitting on us. Well, whatever. You're sitting here to do something besides calling me the wrong name, right? Nah, no one sent me here. I just came to talk to you. Don't be a dick about it. You said I could stop by any time, right? Should we be rebellious against him too? Like sassy? No one sent me here. I just came to talk to you. Okay, you don't believe that. Okay, I guess we gotta be like rebellious against you. Don't be a dick. Well, yeah, but... Nah, fuck it. Even if you came to spy on me, at least you're good entertainment. There's probably nothing Queen Bitch doesn't know about me already, so stop standing around and come inside. See, he's on edge. See, I'm like the- I guess it's perfect that I'm a Gogotha, because I'm like living under a Scarry household, but I want to go for someone in the Mabar, but I'm a Gogotha. <laughs> Randall beckon beckoned me impatiently into the house, so I followed him past the sandy threshold. The living room was far from empty, a number of vampires crowded around in conversation, some standing and others lounging on the couch and chairs. But when they noticed me, the chatter dropped into a low garden murmur, and sharp looks flew at me from all directions. Is that salad on the table? What is that? What is this? Hello everyone. Wiggle my fingers. Sorry, am I intruding on something? Well, you guys are sure- <laughs> you guys sure are a welcoming bunch. Stay silent. I kind of want to go for, um... Well, you guys are a welcoming bunch. A few snorts and scoffs echoed around the room, but no one looked particularly amused. Hey, isn't that the new kid who gave you the knife, Randall? Yeah, I think I recognize her face. A few vampires raised her, their voices warily, glancing between Randall and me. Relax, we worked it out, alright? Randall eyed the vampires who raised their hackles, wearing the slightly disappointed look of an older brother dealing with immature siblings. She's a newbie who was at the wrong place at the wrong time, that's all. Has some goddamn empathy, guys. <sighs> a moment later, their hostile gazes began melting away, and the room echoed with a few sheepish coughs and grumbles. Shit, I guess you're right, like usual. It's kind of easy to forget something sometimes that we all had it rough at the start. The chatter gradually resumed its previous volume, and with the exception of a few lingering glances, the hostility in the room subsided. It was like Randall had flipped some kind of switch. I'd seen at the garage how much his group listened to him, but it seemed even more obvious now. Look at all these bands, bro. Sorry about that, kid. I'm not a kid. Clearing his throat, Randall let out a faint chuckle. Everyone's just a little jumpy with this war shit going on, and with you working for Cherise, they don't hesitate to get defensive. It's fine, I get why they'd be suspicious of me. They could at least give me the benefit of the doubt. Sheesh. I think you should train your guard dogs better. No, what the fuck, that's rude. We're not doing that. That's rude. Oh, anyway, this is where I'm gonna save for today. I'm quite excited to play Randall's route because this gives us a different atmosphere, and I feel like Randall can hold his own, so I don't think... I'm gonna have to baby him as much as with Heath. Even with me babying Heath, didn't work out because then I was like, no, I can't baby him. I gotta make him a very independent boy, which didn't fucking matter because I died anyway. But thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.